Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Sephora's Fragrance for All event is here, so today I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite fragrances that are available at Sephora. The event starts on the 13th, it runs through December 24th. Beauty insiders will receive 20% off full-size fragrances using the code FRAGRANCE20 at checkout. Now I know if you are here, it's probably because you love fragrance just as much as I do. This is kind of the perfect time to pick up something new. Maybe you need more holiday gifts for friends and loved ones. It is a one-time use coupon, so make sure you've added everything you want to cart before you check out. But that's not all, because Sephora is also simultaneously offering same-day delivery. This has been a game changer. I cannot tell you how many times I've used this service since they launched. Your fragrances, holiday gifts, any products that you need to get ready for a last minute party can be delivered directly to your doorstep. It is so fast and convenient. Just make sure you select the same day delivery option on the product page before checkout and then use the code same day. It runs through the same time frame, starts on the 13th, runs through December 24th, and this is also a one-time use coupon. And I've partnered with Sephora to share information on this event, so this video is sponsored and all of the products we're gonna talk about today will be linked down below in the description box so you can easily shop at your convenience. I will also make sure to include all of the information on the Fragrance for All event and same day delivery. Now, when I said I was sharing all of my favorite fragrances available at Sephora, I meant it. I scoured the entire website putting this list together and I've pulled out 18 of my favorite fragrances. I know, zero chill, but I just couldn't cross any off the list. I love all of these fragrances and I think they bring something fun to my perfume collection. I highly recommend them. So we're probably going to go through each one a little bit faster than usual, but I don't think there will be any surprises here. You've heard me talk about all of these perfumes multiple times. I'm going to begin with Burberry Her. This is one of those perfect everyday classic feminine fragrances that is so beloved because it smells a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, but irresistible, unforgettable. People will track you down and compliment you when you're wearing this perfume. I've done it to people when I've smelled them out in public. It's a fruity floral created by master perfumer Francis Kurgian. Keynotes include dark berries, jasmine, musk, and amber. And I love the name Her, so simple and feminine, just like the perfume. I have the beautiful pink bottle, slightly pink juice. That smells delicious. Mmm. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not a candy, sugary sweetness. It just smells very sophisticated. I don't think there's a wrong time or a wrong occasion to wear this fragrance. Could be your signature scent. Another favorite that I highly recommend adding to your fragrance collection because it is so unique, it's from Maison Margiela Replica. This is by The Fireplace. The quintessential fall holiday perfume, and it layers so beautifully with so many other fragrances that you really expand your perfume collection. It's spicy, it's warm, it's a sweet gourmand, and the dry down will just transport you to childhood. Roasting s'mores or camping by the fireplace. You smell this fragrance and it is as if you are quite literally sitting by a fireplace. Keynotes include clove oil, chestnut accord, and vanilla accord. My favorite combination is by the fireplace and vanilla woods. Vanilla Woods is another great addition to any fragrance collection because it's so versatile. You could layer this with just about anything. As long as you really like vanilla, you will love this fragrance. It's a little bit creamy, a little bit sweet, but it's a very beautiful, pleasant, very elegant vanilla. I kind of discovered this randomly just smelling around the fragrance wall at Sephora. Takes it to the next level. Just wow. It really heightens the vanilla note and it adds a little sweetness, a little creaminess, makes it a little bit more feminine overall, but just irresistible. It truly smells like dessert. Once I had fallen in love with Vanilla Woods, I wanted to try other fragrances from the brand because that was my very first fragrance experience with The Seven Virtues. So I picked up Blackberry Lily. I had read several reviews online, rave reviews. I went to the store to try it and I was blown away by this fragrance. It is just so beautiful and it smells kind of clean and simple kind of smells like blackberry and lily, but I think this is so beautiful every single day in the colder winter months. This would be beautiful right now. Could easily be a signature scent. 
It's categorized as warm and spicy, a sweet gourmand, which you might not expect when you read the name, Blackberry Lily. But it is. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, warm and cozy and delicious. One of my favorite perfume launches of 2021 is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia Eau de Parfum. And it comes in this beautiful bottle. It matches the entire Gucci beauty aesthetic. I love this packaging. So I was immediately intrigued. I think this was a blind buy and I really liked it from the beginning. So on the back, it actually has the notes listed. It says bouquet, white gardenia, jasmine, and pear blossom. So there is a very noticeable difference between the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. This is a lot warmer. There's a lot more depth. It's a bit moodier. It could be your date night fragrance. This could be more evening, but it is definitely warm, cozy. I think it is a very sensual floral fragrance. Another one of my favorite florals is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I also really like the new Miss Dior that they launched a couple months ago. When you get into the Dior category of fragrance, they're almost all classics. Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet is not a new fragrance, but it has been a top selling fragrance for a reason. It smells so good. It's fresh, floral, keynotes include Damascus Rose, Peony, and White Musk. This is one of those perfumes that just makes me so happy every time I smell it. It immediately puts a smile on my face and I feel like you can't be in a bad mood wearing Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Just one of the best light, clean floral fragrances I think you'll find. You've probably noticed, but I'm not presenting these in any particular order. These are just all my favorite fragrances from my collection that are available at Sephora, like Ocean de Joa. I love this fragrance. I thought about not including this because it's not really a winter fragrance. I would wear this more spring, summer, but why not take advantage of the savings and the discount while you can? So Ocean de Joa makes the list. This is a fun, fruity, floral, very sparkling fragrance that does kind of transport you to the ocean. So it's very pretty, but it's also relaxing. This is another perfume that just puts a smile on my face and I instantly just melt a little bit. Delicious. It has a lot of juicy pear. You definitely get that burst of fresh fruit. It's kind of like a fruit salad by the ocean. Mmm. It's a little bit sweet, but it's so balanced. I could see somebody wearing this every single day and it doesn't really matter what the weather is like. If you just prefer a fresh floral fragrance, I think Ocean de Joa is really hard to beat. Another great option from Giorgio Armani is My Way. And I know they released the intense version earlier this year. I wanna say I've tried it at Sephora. Anytime I go to Sephora, I always have to smell all of the new fragrances or just any fragrance that I haven't tried before. And I remember really liking it, but feeling sort of content that I already had the original. I don't think you can go wrong with either one, but I really like My Way. I think it is just very elegant. This is one of the most sophisticated, just sort of classic fragrances. It reminds me so much of the brand Giorgio Armani or the Armani Woman because it smells very stylish, very chic. It has tuberose, orange blossom, and vanilla. I definitely pick up on the creaminess of the vanilla note, which I really like vanilla. If vanilla is dominant in a perfume, chances are high. I'm really going to like it. It's just yummy. A little bit sweet. I definitely pick up on the tuberose. If you like white florals in your perfume, you will also really like this. You know we can't skip Chanel. There are so many favorites to mention, but Coco Mademoiselle has got to be one of the best. Just a classic, delicious, head-turning perfume. This is the homecoming queen. Everybody loves Coco Mademoiselle. And here I have the Lo Privé. This is the evening fragrance, but I love every single interpretation. I like the Eau de Toilette. I like the Eau de Parfum. I love the intense version. That is something that is on my wish list because it is so beautiful. It's bright and bold in all the right places, but I do also really like the Privé. This is great for evenings, romantic nights in, but it's also really great daytime. If you just want something really light, it's beautiful. It's warm and floral. Keynotes include orange, patchouli, may rose, grass jasmine, Turkish rose, patchouli, and vetiver. 
Hmm. I like how the low privé version is a little bit lighter, kind of sparkling in floral. So pretty, especially in the evenings as you're winding down for the night, you go through your evening skincare routine and just your every night rituals. Just a, a little spritz before you go to bed or a spritz on your pillow. One of my all time favorite fragrances is Coco Noir from Chanel. And this is a new bottle, finally. It has taken me such a long time to finally replace the original bottle, the first bottle that I ever received. But now I can wear Coco Noir again and I have loved using this fragrance. It is so moody and sophisticated and it just instantly smells like black tie. I think this completely elevates an outfit. You almost feel like you have to be dressed up to wear it, but the opposite is true. Even if you're dressed down and dressed really casual, Coco Noir instantly elevates the look. It has jasmine, rose, bourbon, vanilla, patchouli, tonka bean. It makes your mouth water whenever you spritz this fragrance. This would be perfect for any of your holiday parties. A surprise to no one, next I have Mon Guerlain Intense. This would be another one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I would put this easily on a top 10 list. It's so beautiful. It's a warm and spicy, sweet gourmand. It has lavender, vanilla, and patchouli. It's one of my most complimented fragrances. Definitely one of the most complimented by my husband. He loves this. Every time I wear this, if I walk around anywhere near him, he just goes crazy for it. You smell so amazing. What are you wearing? It's beautiful, which very rarely happens with any other fragrance. So I took note and I immediately invested in the full size bottle. Highly recommend this fragrance. My next two picks need to come with a little disclaimer because even though they are currently available right now on the Sephora website, by the time I get this video posted, I don't know if that will be the case. And that is true for almost all of the Kaoli fragrances. They are so popular and they just can't keep them in stock. Not just Sephora, any retailer, even the Kaoli website is constantly going in and out of stock of their fragrances. I think that says a lot about the brand. If I had to choose, these would be my two favorites. The Vanilla 28, beautiful on its own, layers beautifully with every other fragrance in the line, and Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. This blew me away the first time I tried this. I don't know why it was never on my radar before, it should have been because when I tried it, I thought, wow, this is my new favorite of the line. These two are both incredible. I think this is a really fun, flirty, it's a little bit sweet, kind of girls night out fragrance. This is kind of a cheeky perfume, like a date night perfume. Vanilla 28 is a very moody, very warm, very sexy vanilla perfume. It's pretty simple. You get a lot of straightforward vanilla. So if you love vanilla, this is one of the best out there, but it also layers so nicely with the grapefruit, the musk, the elixir, the sweet diamond, all of the other fragrances in the Kaoli line pair beautifully with this. And it will just amplify the fragrance, makes it a little bit more unique. You can kind of personalize your fragrance with the Kaoli line. Next we have Cleopatra from Toka. This is a new discovery for me this year and I am so happy I found this brand. I remember I went to Sephora a couple months ago and I was smelling all of them, the entire range, because I had read some really great reviews online and I was sort of interested. There were a handful that stuck out to me, but I knew instantly that this was coming home with me. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. I love the bottle, I love the name, and I just really love the overall mood that this brings. It has grapefruit, jasmine, vanilla, and musk. So it's floral, it's a little bit creamy, a little bit earthy and spicy. Just kind of smells royal. Smells like the type of fragrance that Cleopatra herself would wear. And I do kind of feel like a princess or feel like a queen whenever I wear this. One of the prettiest floral fragrances, and it's simple. It's not so unique, so different from everything else that it's going to blow your mind, but it's kind of clean and beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what is in this fragrance that I just wanna keep smelling it, keep smelling it, and keep smelling it. And it has very impressive staying power. The performance of this fragrance is 
really amazing. You only need a small amount. You kind of think because, oh, it's kind of light and floral, I'm just going to spritz, spritz, spritz all over the place. Do not make that mistake. You really only need one, two, and then you're done. The last four fragrances I pulled out to talk about are a bit pricier. So of course, if you can save 20% on the full bottle, that is the way to go. Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. This was my fragrance purchase during the Sephora Holiday Savings event, and it has been on my wish list for such a long time. Finally, I crossed it off. I tried a sample of this perfume years ago, and I remember wearing it to an event. It was a friend's wedding. So I got the full experience of the fragrance. And from that moment on, I knew at some point I would pick this up. I waited for a discount. Of course, that's what you gotta do, but it smells so yummy. There's apricot or pear. There's some fruity note in there that is so different. I love it. Kind of smells like dessert, but it's not too sweet. It's a little bit earthy. I think this is a really nice evening date night fragrance. It's a bit warm and cozy as well. So this is perfect right now in the fall winter months. If the holidays could be condensed down to a single fragrance, I imagine it would smell very similar to Angel Share by Killian. This is one of the most delicious gourmand perfumes. It's a little bit warm, spicy, sweet, very smooth and creamy, almost buttery, like a butterscotch or what I would imagine butterbeer would smell like if you're a Harry Potter fan. But it's not pretentious. It smells very homey like being at home with family with loved ones hanging out in the kitchen playing games snacking catching up with old friends it really sets the scene anytime i smell this perfume there's a little cinnamon in there almost a hint of apple like a fresh baked apple pie or fresh baked dessert for the holidays and it smells joyful happy but so much more than that like you are full and content like you just had an incredible meal and you're just relaxing at home and then i'm finishing with my two favorite tom ford fragrances i'm always torn between the two every time i talk about them rose prick and lost cherry i think both of these would be appropriate now rose prick is a little bit more floral but this is not your typical light rosy fragrance it has patchouli and it's very earthy and it's more of a kind of a smoky incense rose i think it is really beautiful for a date night so pretty this is definitely a sexy rose fragrance i love the bottle just really beautiful it's incredibly elegant and then lost cherry this was an award winner a couple years ago i think it won best fragrance of the year it's amazing almond cherry if you love if you love cherry almond you will really like this it's another gourmand it smells delicious i would drink this i would light a candle i would lather my body with a body cream anything that they come out with with lost cherry i want a piece of it because it smells so good it's a little bit sweet, almost like a liqueur sweet, candy sweetness. It reminds me a lot of a very fancy cordial. Something you'd find in a really expensive French bakery. But in the dry down, I'm left with a lot of really beautiful vanilla notes. That's what lingers on my skin. And I just really like it. I find it to be very elegant. It's a very sophisticated fragrance. It's a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet, and it is very different from anything else. Well, I'm not sure how we did on time, but I did my best to be stealthy, and we managed to make it through 18 fragrances. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you feel inspired to take advantage of the Fragrance for All event and the same day delivery. Trust me, you'll never go back. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.